Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be guiding you through five secret uses of the bed in Minecraft. That's right, everybody knows that you can sleep in a bed and it sets your spawn and takes you through the entire night, and that's kind of cool and useful, but it's something everybody knows. And if you're kind of inventive, you might also realize that it's half block tall, and that means you can jump to one and a half block tall gaps that you otherwise can't, which is, I guess, kind of useful. But today, I'm going to be guiding you through five secret uses that are much cooler than this, that aren't immediately obvious to the eye, but that can actually do some really useful things if you learn how to use them, and that's what we're going to be teaching how to do today so please do like to do if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot and lets me want to see more stuff like this but let's get straight into it already shall we so let's start by explaining where a lot of this stuff comes from because basically depending on the direction you sleep in a bed it actually will wake you up in the same spot every single time so uh, for instance if we uh, go to sleep in a north facing bed because this bed's facing north uh, then you'll see uh, okay, if we just give it a few seconds for the light levels to go down a second then you'll be you'll actually be able to see that we'll wake up in this exact same spot every single time just to the you know the top left of the bed every single time if it's facing north it's this exact block right here. When it's, uh, you know, facing to the east, you get this exact block right here again. And it basically means that if you just work out where that spot is, you can kind of alter that by placing blocks there because, you know, that exact same spot there will be every time. If we have a single white wall there, it's going to slightly change. It's going to move us here. And this means you can kind of manipulate where people wake up from a bed. And you might think, Toy Cat, how is this useful in any way? This is just sleeping, but really complex, right? But no, this is actually quite useful because it means that if you get transparent blocks there, uh, this, this doesn't affect where you can spawn. And it means that the first secret use is being able to hide inside secret blocks because when you wake up from a bed it's not like just walk into a block it literally puts you there and this is cool with uh, leaves because it means ah, I mean I'm surrounded by leaves because the outside world uh, obviously you know I can't see it because I'm inside the blocks but the outside world I'm just inside some leaves it's pretty cool you can make me a trophy if you want to but what you, what you can also do is you can use it as kind of like an extra glitch because if you wake up and there's glowstone to the right here because when you're facing south it puts you in this spot you'll see that what happens here is I wake up inside the glowstone and this means I can see all the secrets underneath the map and if there was like you know diamonds and stuff you could look for them this way so yeah if you want to have an x-ray glitch that you want to do in survival that doesn't require ender pearls or doesn't require pistons this is the easiest way to do it just go to sleep wake up and oh you can see through the entire map it's pretty cool in my opinion and it also means that it's hidden so if you're playing a uh, hide and seek uh, this is I, I guess this is probably cheating but you know if you want to cheat then this is one of the best ways to cheat a hide and seek so yeah there's a little pro tip for you so just show you how this works again uh, you can actually jump up through it if you want to it, it's, it's really cool that way it means you can glitch through windows you can do all these sorts of things that I think are quite cool and yeah secret use number one is being able to hide inside transparent blocks. Secret use number two is going to have to be, at least in my opinion, the ability to have a secret chest room because if you remove the bed from right here you can make a secret chest room behind like a wall of obsidian or somewhere that people aren't going to mine through uh, and, and wouldn't even think to because the only way to wake uh, to get to the chest room is at night. You have to go and sleep in the bed and then wake up because, uh, you know, the, the spot in the bed, you know, just facing over there, is the one spot that's free that means even though there's walls on both sides, you can glitch through the wall like so, and you'll wake up in the chest room, and this is where my diamond blocks are, my XP bottles, but all my stuff is, and yeah, it's pretty cool, and you can also use this, uh, you can basically just make a, a kind of secret place, obviously you have to have a way out of this, maybe you have a piston thing, or you can use another bed thing to make, uh, get your way out, it's kind of clever, it's kind of useful, and I think it's quite cool, but, you know, this can't just be used, uh, you know, to get yourself a chest room, you know, like, like I said, it's, it's really cool, but it means you can also use this the other way around, you can be like, hey, you should go to sleep in my little enclosed uh, area over here, or you can do the same thing over there, and basically you can trap people this way, because they go to sleep thinking, oh, nothing's going to be wrong. And then they wake up in a bedrock enclosed chamber or obsidian, of course, for survival. I think it's pretty cool and pretty useful. And yeah, that's a thing right there. So we're going to have to hop out of here, I guess. And uh, let's move on to uh, the secret use number four. Because, uh, you know, secret use number two, making a chest room. Secret use number three is having, you know, the, the, the room of death that people wake up in. I, I think it's really cool that you can use people's placement when they wake up in that way. And uh, the fourth way is also going to use that. But it's something I like to call, uh, you know, bed redstone. Or, if you will, bedstone. <laughs> because basically you can actually use beds as a redstone component that's right you might be thinking how are they going to work as a redstone component but basically again we can use this fixed spawn thing and although it's tricky now because it used to be because uh, I made a video on a, a life counter it used to be that people would be able to wake up onto pressure plates but that's not how it works anymore unfortunately uh, unfortunately if you want to you know go to sleep in a bed you can't wake up into a redstone uh, into a pressure plate but you can wake up into water which can push you before you even realize anything's up and it means you can do stuff like this so just quickly first of all I want to show you that the, the light over there is not on and you can basically use this as a very basic example right here You can see I go to sleep in the bed before I even know I wake up and I fall down here I go onto a pressure plate the pressure plate knocks you off immediately So you can't do anything and then I'm down here and it's just that measured my waking up and you can do this for quite a few cool things Because basically, you know, the, the reason that that is so useful is because of the fact that it allows you to um 
you know, it, it allows you to kind of measure when people wake up. So if you want to have the life counter, like uh, what I had over there, you can make it so, you know, after people have woken up five times, it's a bit of complex redstone that they can't wake up anymore. It obstructs their bed, so that way you have five respawns. You can do really cool things with bed redstone that basically, you know, you, it basically means you can use people spawning as a trigger for stuff, and I think that's quite useful. So yeah, bedstone, really cool thing for custom maps, and if you just want to have, a, you know, a cool way to, like, if you if you want, you can have a dispenser go off every time you wake up. This is a thing you can do there. So uh, yeah, that's bedstone, but what is is secret use number five gonna be so secret use number five is one of the cooler uses and it's one you might have seen if you've seen speedruns and stuff but it's generally not one that people talk about too much unless it's for like trolling purposes but it is a really cool use of uh, beds and that is beds as tnt in the never and in the end because there is no time in the never and presumably no time in the end when you go to sleep for some reason instead of just saying oh you can't sleep here what it does instead you know i'll just show you so uh, in case you haven't seen this it's very very cool when you uh you know of course left trigger the bed to try to sleep it does that instead so if there's a big wall like I just had there and you want to get through it you can use beds as TNT that's right beds are basically TNT in the nether except they're even stronger than TNT because you know this entire wall which was something like 200 blocks or so you know it, it would have taken a, a decent amount of pickaxe durability it's just all gone plus a bunch more on the floor with two beds like that and we can obviously go ahead and we can craft some more and we do this more and more and more and use it as bed uh, you know bed TNT it's a really cool way to you know make sure uh, oh, sorry it's a really cool way to basically you know find your way through the nether and also if you if you don't have armor I have a little bit blast protection on my legs nothing else um Basically, if you want to make sure that you're extra safe from this stuff, uh, one thing I'd recommend doing is placing a block between you and the bed, and then that means that stuff like this won't actually hurt you too much. So yeah, pro tip right there, use beds for TNC if you want to go mining through the nether, because imagine this is just solid rock, you can mine through it with uh, your beds so, so fast without breaking your pickaxe, and uh, yeah, it's pretty useful in that way. So yeah, secret use number five is as bed uh, TNC, uh, and hopefully one of the uses from this video was something that you find kind of cool. Uh, if you want to see more like secret uses video, because a lot of items do have these kind of hidden uses uh, let me know in the comments down below if you liked it uh, but if you did like the video please do a like it and let me know uh, share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here i make videos like this every single day on my channel and if you subscribe you'll see them daily on your homepage. have a nice day everybody and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye